most Friday, Saturday nights, there's um, people coming out of venues, they're intoxicated, they're getting into fights. Um, so it, it's a strain on the police resources. We've found that ambulance officers are also being assaulted by patients they're attending to. I was working a normal late shift and I got a call over the radio from my bartender that one of our regulars was causing a bit of a scene after getting cut off. It was very aggressive and quite insulting to us. So we just eventually got her out to the front of the hotel. At one point, she walked up close to me. I had my hands on my hip, a little thought I was safe. She headbutted me in the mouth and obviously split my lip and caused me to bleed. The more intoxicated people get, the, the less inhibited they tend to be. They would do things that they would not usually do in day-to-day -day life. The chances of escalation from alcohol are quite high. Uh, it can cause violence, domestic violence, car accidents. The scope is so large, so it's really important that we manage it in-house. The day after the attack, she actually gave me a call and she was extremely apologetic. And I do believe it was very out of character and it was because of the intoxication. In my experience of preventing alcohol-related incidents, the first step is always knowing when someone's had too much to drink. If you're not comfortable cutting somebody off, offer them some water, speak to a manager or a security guard, get fellow staff involved, ask for a second opinion, and then you go from there. RSA frontline workers play a really huge role in preventing alcohol-related incidents. They have a, a responsibility to not only themselves, but to the other customers, to management, to security in the broader community to ensure that they are not allowing that alcohol-related incident to escalate. In my career, I've always been supported when I've cut somebody off, whether it's a fellow staff member, security guard, manager, there's always somebody close by and a radio on hand if you need it. It just takes one 18 year old to say to a manager, I think I just had a chat with that guy and I think he's probably, probably time for him to leave. I think give him a bottle of water, make sure he gets into a cab and make sure he gets home safely, but it's probably not best he stays in here. That's all you need to do.